client determined and rolling the dice. Thousands of angry market basket workers rally to convince management there's no future without them. And their old boss, Arthur T. Demoulis, forced out in a bitter family feud. Now, they could lose everything in pushing ahead with this, this public mutiny and manifest disdain for Arthur T.'s cousin, Arthur S. In my Money Watchers report tonight, can the New Bedford and Raynham stores bounce back and will customer loyalty prevail over picketing and protests? There's nothing in produce. Still empty. Thank God I got a garden. The feud continues at Market Basket. In New Bedford, shoppers are coping as best they can. If the Moolish doesn't get back in, I'm never going to shop here again. Many shoppers say they feel that way, and employees are reaming. We love Audi T. Today, north of New Bedford and Tewksbury, where the company's based, thousands and thousands of employees and their supporters rallied again, demanding that the former CEO, Arthur T. DeMoulis, get his job back. It's kind of devastating. I feel bad for all the people that who comes to the store and, you know, they, it's empty. Everything's empty. After visiting the Market Basket in New Bedford, we came here to the Market Basket location in Raynham. Normally, this parking lot would be full, but take a look. Today, it's pretty much empty. In New Bedford, the parking lot here is more full. There are more shoppers because we're told they don't really have an alternative. But still, take a look at this cart. The shoppers tell us it's usually more full. I still want to shop here. Hopefully, it doesn't close down. I understand what the whole big issue is about, but at the end of the day, we got to feed New Bedford, you know what I mean? And a lot of people, there's a lot of people around here that don't have cars that can't just drive across the Dartmouth to Walmart, or can't just drive like across the town basically to get their food. This is what they got. The signs on the store say it all. Just sick of corporations dictating, you know, what's best for them and not for the public. I'm very sympathetic with the employees, yes. They're in a hard spot. Yeah, it's between a rock and a hard place. And this now has been going on for quite some time. Shelves are empty, but the doors still remain open.